What's all this buzz going on around Blue Sky Social? Is Blue Sky really replacing X? But all I know is at the time of this recording, Blue Sky recorded 20 million users in their database. And if you're like me, you want to go where the intention is. So in this video, I'm going to show you how to set up an automation to send content over to Blue Sky. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. But before we begin, I'm going to give you a bird's eye view of this entire automation. And of course, I'm going to show you how to build this automation step by step. Okay. So the first piece is we I'm going to use Reddit to find out what's trending, what's trending in a specific arena. In this particular case, we're going to go with the mortgages and what's the conversation around mortgage in around the mortgage industry. All right. So we're going to use Redfin to, to, to get some updated data. Then we're going to use Perplexity AI to then fact check that information and do some additional research. And then we're going to use uh, Blue Sky's API in order to get our information on our Blue Sky account, create a, uh, some authentication. And then I created uh, three branches, okay, just for demonstration purposes. So the first branch is to just create a text only post. The second is to create an image post. And third is to create a video post. Of course, you can choose whichever one you want, but just for demonstration purposes, I'm going to show you how to do all three. Okay. Um, to create the, to create the image I'm using, um, flux AI to create the image and I'm going to post that image to, um, to blue sky. And for the video I'm using, again, I'm using, um, flux AI to create the image. And I'm also going to use, um, runway to animate that AI image and then post it over to to blue sky. All right. So I'm going to show you how to do this step by step right now. So let's uh, jump right into the automation. All right. So in this automation, we are going to start by setting up a trigger. But before we do that, if you don't, if you don't know the tool that I'm using right now, the tool is called make make is an automation platform that allows you to connect multiple applications together and allow them to communicate with each other, essentially creating your workflow and creating your automation. So in this automation that we're doing, the first piece that we need is an RSS feed. The RSS feed we are going to pull from Reddit. Okay. So uh, within Reddit, as you know, they have Reddit has multiple threads that um, allows people to communicate and, and, and discuss different topics, and you can name those specific threads. Okay, we'll be looking at the mortgage, the mortgages thread. All right, so Reddit has a specific naming convention. Uh, they usually use R four slash in the name of the thread. So if you follow this naming convention for any of the threads that you would like to build this automation for, you just have to use a specific um, naming convention. So in this particular case is reddit.com forward slash r forward slash mortgages forward slash dot rss. So if you wanted to look at another thread, for example, you can look at um like say for for, for notary. So forward slash notary and it'll automatically update this feed to allow for the notary discussion that's going on on Reddit. Okay. But we are going to again use the mortgages. So let's close out of this and let's go back to our automation. And if piece that we're going to use is RSS. And then what we're going to do is we want to watch for RSS feed items and let's paste over our mortgages RSS feed, the max number to return. We'll just select one, select okay. And you could let's um, select from that one. It's okay. And let's just rename this. Let's rename this to um, mortgages RSS from Reddit. Select okay. Being that this is a live feed, so it watches for any new threads. It's not going to pull anything if we run it now. So if you run, if you run the module, if you run this automation now, it's going to say where to start from because there's nothing new that came in. So we can choose where to start and let's select, let's just select the first items. Uh, we could do um, FHA loan download. I'm sorry, down payment, slash down payment, select okay. And let's run this again and it'll pull in that feed. Okay. So that's great. So we'll close out of this and let's make sure we save. It's important to always save as you go. All right, cool. So that's the first piece. The second thing what we need to do is we need to use a tool called Perplexity AI. Perplexity AI is um, LL, um, LLM, a large language model that's actually online. So it, it pulls data from the internet. So it's basically if Google, if Google and um, ChatGPT were to have a baby, it'll be called Perplexity AI. So basically it's what it is. So Perplexity searches online to find data and it pulls all of the relevant data and it brings that into your automation, which is pretty cool. All right. So the first thing we need to do is we need to bring in OpenAI. So for OpenAI, I'm going to create a completion and we are going to use the model. Let's use the model. Um, let's use um, O1 mini. Okay. And we are going to select the for messages. We're going to select user as a role and to cheat a little bit, I am going to copy and paste this, my, but copy and paste my, um, uh, wrote before. And the, the automation that I showed you during the, the introduction was for, um, for an AI. I did, I, I was using the AI, um, Reddit thread, but this time we get to build one for mortgages. So I'm going to just change the language accordingly. Okay. Um, it reads you are an AI agent tasked with creating a clear and concise prompt for perplexity AI. Uh, let's put mortgage agents and AI mortgage. Mortgage agent. Okay, you are a um, you are a mortgage agent tasked with creating a clear and concise prompt for Perplexity AI. Your input will be on a specific topic. Your job is to analyze the topic and generate a prompt that will instruct Perplexity AI to search the web and gather the 
the top five most recent facts, insights, or updates uh, related to the main topic. We only launch updates or news or new news. That's new. <laughs> you will provide one or two key search terms, such as Elon Musk, SpaceX, and find the most up to date news. The prompt you create should only adhere to the following guidelines. And I you know, gave us some specific guidelines as I generate a prompt for propensity AI. So, what we do right now is we're creating a prompt. We want to create a detailed prompt so that way we can give to. Um, perplexity AI so that way you can begin its research. Okay. So let's do this. Let's uh the topic is going to be the title of the RSS feed, which we'll pull from here. And that's fine. The max tokens is fine. Let's select okay. And we are going to call this one. Let's rename it to perplexity. Perplexity prep. And then we'll give it a nice little emoji toolkit. Emoji. My fave. Cool. All right. So hit okay. Toolkit. Hit okay. Let's make sure we save. And what we're gonna do again, we want to run this module. I uh, will choose where to start. And We'll select average loan down payment. Um, hit run once, and then we'll we'll see what the uh, perplexity comes. Up. I'm sorry, we'll see what the open AI comes with as far as a prompt. Okay, so this is the prompt. All right, cool. Perplexity AI um, research of this latest information. FHA loan docs down payment provides five most recent facts, and then it goes into it there. Okay, cool. So next, what we want to do is want to open up perplexity AI. Perplexity AI. We want to create a chat completion, and just so you're aware, whenever you add a new module here. Like perplexity, or if you add OpenAI and all the other models that we will be adding in the future, the first time you load, the first time you load the app or to load the module, it's going to prompt for credentials. So you need to have accounts created for um, OpenAI for perplexity. If you want to use Claude for Claude for any tool that we use, you have to have an account set up there as well. Most of these um, LLMs require you to have or create rather uh, a, an API key, and that key is specific to you. That will allow you to put that key into Meek, and that will allow the the bridge, if you will, to open between these apps. Okay, it'll allow that that API key would allow Make to communicate with the specific app. Okay, and most of these accounts require you to put like ten dollars, twenty dollars down, and they will use that money or that that cushion um, to to run these um, AI robots, if you will. Okay, all right, all right. Mm -hmm. So now we are we are in perplexity AI. We want to for the message. What we're going to do is we want to create the content. It's going to be the results from the perplexity prep that we just did, and the role is going to be user. As far as the model. Um, as long as it says online next to it, this is pretty good. Um, it's small, large, huge. If you have a lot of data, small should be fine. Um, it should pull, you know, enough data for us. But I mean, to be safe, we can choose large. If you like this case, a lot of data pulls off within that feed and with like large. All right, hit OK, and we go to this. We can leave it as perplexity AI for now. That's cool. Um, all right. So then, um, the, the next thing we can do is we want to actually let's run this. Let's save and let's run this again so we can see some results. Choose where to start. We are going to choose um, FHA loan, down payment, hit OK, and let's run this once. OK. All right. OK, cool. So let's take a few minutes and perplexity AI is going on the web searching for the specific topic and it's going to come, it's going to come up with some, some, some results here. OK, so if we go to uh, choice one, go to message content, it pulls up, pulled up a bunch of content and pull up DTI, MIP. Uh, if you say down payment requirements and it pulled up some, some results here, so good. So basically, we're just using this for research, okay? We fact checking whatever is the th whatever the thread is discussing, okay? So the next piece, what we want to do is we want to begin to prepare to post to Blue Skies, okay? So being that Blue Sky is, is fairly new, um, and it's you know becoming popular now, make it doesn't have make doesn't have um, any module specific module like you see open AI perplexity, uh, make doesn't have a specific module for Blue Sky, so luckily, Blue Sky has um. Um, API, an API built that allows us to still communicate to their platform, but it's not going to be as clean as this, but we are going to use what's called um, HTTP um, request modules. That's actually a module that's built into Make that allow us to use their API features. But before we jump into it, I'm going to show you one thing that you need to do in order to in order to use it, in order to um, use the API feature. The first piece that you need to do is um, and Blue Sky, this is my Blue Sky account. What you need to do is you need to go into, so once you create your Blue Sky account, you need to go into settings and then you need to go to privacy and security. Once you go into privacy and security, you need to create what's called an app password. Um, this app password is not the password that you log in with. This is a, a password that you create, password or passwords that you create to use with specific applications. Um, in this particular case, I created one for Make. Once you create a password, an app password, um, it'll pop up once. And then once you hit save or you close it, you're not gonna see it again because they're trying to keep it private. So um, all you have to do is um, select app password, create the name of the password. Let's just do it right now. We're going to call it uh, make demo, right? And you can allow access to direct messages short hit next, and then you'll get a password. So this will be a password that you use. And once you hit done, and it says, even give you this limit here for security reasons, we won't be able to, you, you won't be able to view this message again. If you lose this app password, you'll need to regenerate a new one. Okay. So that's cool. So you can get this app password, you'll copy it, and then you'll bring that over to make. Okay. Cause then that'll um, comply with what we need to do next. Okay. 
Cool. All right. So let's jump over to actually before we before we create that, I want to show you some tools that I, that, that I use in order to create this API. So um, and all the links I'll show you here, I'll include it in the show notes so that way you'll be able to check look at look at this yourself as well. So one thing I have to admit with Blue Sky, I guess it's because maybe they're new and things like that. Their API instructions are not the best compared to other products. So it took me literally like a full day or 48 hours, I would say, to really like figure out how to use their API. Um, because it had those bits and pieces everywhere. I even had to go on certain blogs, which I'll show you next to, to, to get bits of information and to kind of put the pieces together. So um, while it was frustrating, um, I was able to figure it out. So, but the starting place will be their API documentation. So it's under docs.bsky, bsky, that app. Um, you'll find you'll find um, a lot of their tutorials about how to um, create these API integrations. And um, um, it's pretty robust. I mean, you, you can go into it and, and read it to the different actors that they have. And, and I mean, it goes on and on and on. Um, but the, your, your best bet is just that when you get started here is to um, just kind of read through this and understand a lot of the language that they use is between is um is Python. That's the, that's the language that I, that I, that I, I pretty much are comfortable with is Python. So I was able to understand it, but if you use curl or, um, you know, um, type TypeScript, whatever, whatever like you're familiar with, you can do it, but don't worry about it. And I'm going down a rabbit hole. Um, I'm going to show you how to build this out step by step. So you don't have to worry about this. Okay. So let's, uh, we can actually close out of this and go to the next tab. So this is a blog that I found that someone posted. This was back in 2023 when this, when this person obviously had the same issue that I had. Let me kind of go step-by-step step on what to do. Um, you know, this is a great help. And um, I'll, I'll get include a link to the show notes with this as well. All right, so let's jump back over to our automation. All right. So what we need to do first, or we do next rather, is we need to create what's called, um, we need to retrieve what's called a DID. A DID is called uh, a decentralized identifier, okay? Um, that allows, uh, the API to pick up your specific account and your your, your your unique account. Okay, so let's go ahead and, and build that out. All right, cool. So we need to do an HTTP. Then we need to do a uh, uh, make a request. This one here, and the URL we're going to use is this is copy it here. This is the URL, and at the end, your handle is going to be whatever your handle is. This is another cool thing that I do like about Blue Sky. Blue Sky allows you to bring in your domain, and you can make your domain your handle. A domain is basically if you had like notaryrocks.com or you know i'm the best.com you could your your handle could be i'm the best.com so my handle on um blue sky is notary x.ai okay so that's the domain and that's a product that i have so I, I use that as my um my handle okay all right so what we want to do is we want to get and we want to select um, the body type it's going to be raw um shout to odb and it's going to be json okay so that's all we need and uh we want to definitely parse the response we select yes and select OK. And we are going to rename this. Let's rename this. Rename this to. Let's use the nice butterfly that they like to use. And we got to state uh, get DID. OK, cool. We can actually run this module only because it's not, it doesn't have any prerequisites. All right, so it ran successfully and it pulled the information that we need. OK, it's the data and it's the DID. It's my specific DID. OK, cool. Let's close this. And whenever, whenever we run a module, it usually turns green to let us know that the module ran successfully. Okay, so that's a good indication that it ran successfully. And when it fails, you'll know when it fails as well. All right, so let's save this. The next piece, what we need to do is we need to get an API token. Uh, API token is what I discussed earlier. It allows, it would allow Make to communicate with um, Blue Sky. A lot of other application has have this process already built into their application. Unfortunately, Blue Sky does not have that. You have to, it's, a, it's an on-demand key that you have to request. And uh, eventually, I believe as they grow, they'll start probably building in these tools um, as they move forward. Well, hopefully, things cross. Okay. All right. So what we need to do is we need to um, make another request. So that's uh, this is we can just clone this. All right, and let's rename it to. Uh, we'll rename it to get API like token. All right. Hit OK. And in this case, we are going to use a different URL handle. And this time we are going to select this. It's uh, Beast by Social. It uses a uh, AT Pronto server. You can just copy, copy this. You don't get what you need. But this time, instead of getting, we need to post. And the body time is going to be raw and JSON and the, the requested content. And I'm going to paste it here. All right. All right. I'm going to paste this here. Okay, cool. All right. So one thing we need to change and in and this, I'm going to kind of omit my password. I'm going to block it out so that way you can't see it. But what you need to do is you need to grab your password from, from blue sky and you just need to paste it in here in quotes. Okay. And the identifier we are going to pull from the last uh, module here. So under the DID, the, the DID, this is the identifier. All right, you pull that in here. Uh, again, we want to parse and select OK, and we're good. Cool. All right, so we are we want to save this. All right, and to save on time, let's just press forward. Okay, so we need three steps here. Uh, we don't actually need three steps, but I'm going to show you three steps. All right, so the first, the first step is going to be um, posting 
posting uh, posting a text message or a text thread or a text post <laughs> on Blue Sky. All right. So let's go ahead and create a router. All right. And the first route is going to be with the Blue Sky. So what we need to do first is we need to create the post. All right. So let's uh, let's open up again um, OpenAI. And what we want to do is this time we're going to message an assistant. All right. So the difference with, when you create an assistant is basically have have a bot, a predefined bot within within um, OpenAI. So a bot is basically you give it, you give a bot or a robot a set of instructions, and it remembers those instructions anytime you call upon a bot. In order to get the bot in your OpenAI account, you just need to go to um, platform.openai.com. You go to assistance, and then you create you add the you add the, the instructions for the bot, and then you'll be able to call upon it here in Make. Let's just take a quick peek at it. So this is a this is the instructions that I that I gave to the um, Blue Skies bot. Um, one thing that I that's critical is you want to make sure that um, that when you post text that is doesn't go over to whatever the threshold is for that particular platform. So for Blue Skies, um, their limit I believe is three hundred characters in a text in, in a post. Uh, to, I give it enough room to breathe. I said between two eighty and in certain cases I said two hundred and twenty characters um, just to give it enough room because sometimes the AI is not precise. Sometimes it goes over. And you don't want the automation to fail because it went over, right? One key thing that I like here is um, the steps, which is hook, explain, question, hashtags. So this is a good framework that you can give the um, the bot so that when it when it posts, it um, it is consistent as to the structure uh, when it posts. Okay, give it some examples and things like that. So cool. So what um, I'll include um, I'll include this into my um, my community and. I'll include a link to access the community as well. But you know, if you don't want to join the community, what you can do is you can just go on um, OpenAI and access to create instructions for you as well. Okay, cool. All right. So the system I'm using again is Blue Sky, my Blue Sky bot, and it's um, a 4.0 mini. It's going to be user and the message. Let's just copy this here and let's paste the message here. Cool. All right. So let's go over this real quick. All right. So, all right. You're an expert post writer on social media. On the social media platform, Blue Sky, draft a post related to the research below um, the notary industry and focusing on, instead of saying AI, let's just say, um, and focus it, uh, let's say, instead of saying focusing on AI, what I would just say is, instead of notary, I would say mortgage industry. Mortgage industry. All right, so the research is going to be what we pulled here. So let's, uh, let's say this collapse all, and let's go to, it's going to be the research we find for perplexity. It's going to be choice, it's going to be message, it's going to be the content. Oops, that's fine. That's the research. We'll just uh, we, we, we plug it in the wrong place. So that's fine. All right, so this is going to be the research. And what we need to do next is we need to prepare for the um, the API access. So whenever you post, whenever you, you, you post content, now it'll make sense when we look at the next module. But what we need to do is we need to send a command over to Blue Sky in order to post this. So this is the command that it needs. Uh, it uses the collection to um, bskyfee.post. And what we need to do is the the repo is going to be the DID, right? So this is right here, the DID, and the text is going to be the post that we just that that I'm opening and generating, which is on the top here. And the create is going to be create now, and the type is going to be again the B Sky feed post. So this is all the information I got again I got from what I showed you earlier. And each time we post a, a text or an image or a video is different instructions for each take. All right, awesome. All right, so let's um, hit OK, and we just want to rename this to um, let's rename this to Blue Sky. Oh, come on, get a spell, post, post guy post, and let's give it an emoji real quick. All right, good. Hit okay. All right, awesome. All right, same one time. What we're gonna do next is we wanna post the message, okay? All right. So again, we need to actually just clone this and let's bring it up here, right? And we're gonna rename this to post message. Okay, okay, awesome. On this one, we need to use a different URL again. We'll copy it and we want to post. And instead of having this here, we want to select what we pulled from the results here. Awesome. And JSON raw, good, perfect. All right, so let's uh let's run this. Let's run this puppy. Let's hit save. And we'll run it. And then what we'll do is we'll go back, we'll go in and look at the post as well on blue sky. So let's uh go here, let's choose the starts. And Given the same um, FHA loan down payment, hit OK, and let's run this. All right, so right now it's going, it's, it's creating a prompt for perplexity. It dumped it to perplexity AI. Perplexity AI is searching the web for specific content. Okay. Once that's done, then we'll get the DID for, for our Blue Sky account. We get the API token. That's done pretty quickly. Next, what we want to do is we want to go to Blue Sky to um, to 
post, but then we got an error. Let's see what the error is. See, error missing message authentication required. What the, oh, duh, we forgot to add our header. So here, what we need to do is add our header. So what we need to do before we post, we already, we created the API token, but we didn't put the API token here. So it uses bearer and we need to add our API token here. This is the access, access JWT is our token. All right, so the error, we just need to add our API token and now let's rerun this again. Let's choose where to start. If we should go down payment, hit okay. And let's try to run this again. All right, so this time we should run success successfully. All right. Okay, so perhaps the AI is running. Then we get the, we get the DID. Um, we also get the API token. We message an assistant. We create our post, and this time it posted. Okay, so the post should say a down payment made simpler. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go. Let's go over to let's go over to Blue Sky. Let's cancel this, and we actually don't need this one. I'm gonna delete that. I'm gonna make sure I'm not deleting the wrong one. Let's go home. And right here. So this is what we just posted, right? Down payments made simpler. Everything loans allow just three and a half percent down for good credit, but options expand with the gift funds and assistant programs. Are you ready to explore your lending opportunities? Question mark. Awesome. All right. So that's pretty cool. All right, cool. All right. So let's go back to the automation. All right. And now what we want to do is we want to, what we're going to do next is we want to create an image post. So for this case, what we need to do is we need to create, um, a prompt or we need to create an um a prompt for the image and we are going to again use flux ai okay all right cool so let's go ahead and create a chat completion all right let's go ahead create a chat completion and then what we want to do is we want to use the model we can use uh we can use 40 mini that's fine save save some save some coin right all right and then we want to message a uh, user and the text context is going to be this right here. All right. So, uh, as an expert, creative director, generate a high impact visual, um, urgent notary professionalism, AI driven innovation. It's an AI driven innovation. We can take that out. Extremely, extremely fancy, extremely fancy. You are an uh, extreme fancy. Your output must be and oops, uh, here. um, your output must be exactly an unforgettable, exactly one unforgettable scene. Okay. So I gave it a bunch of instructions to, to use. Um, I just want to make sure that it doesn't have AI language in here. AI powered environment, um, surreal environment sort of thing. AI powered. I'm just trying to take out the AI, the AI language in here. And again, when you create your prompts, you just want to make sure that you just want to make sure that it doesn't, you know, it includes whatever your, your specific niche is. Okay. All right. Let's go here. Let's just make sure. Let's go through this real quick. Uh, notary, um, mortgage circuits, say mortgage. All right, yeah, let's just give it something to work with. And that's cool. All right, so at the bottom here, again, just like I did for the, the blue sky posts, what, I, what I've done on the bottom here is you need to um, give it a, a JSON um, format, and I'm going to do it in a four by five aspect ratio. Okay, the image. Okay, and the research we're going to choose is, again, this is collapse everything. And for complexity, we want to give it a choice message uh, content. Okay, so that's the research, All right? And that's good. Hit okay. I want to rename this to image prompt. Rename this to image prompt. All right. And the emoji we're going to use is again right there. Okay. All right. Next. All right. So now that we have our image prompt, we need to call on, um, we need to call on the API for flex AI. Okay. And let's do this first. That's good. Actually, what we can do is we can, uh, we can, uh, let's call this. Yeah, put it here. We gotta rename this to create. Oops. Four by five. Great. Four by five image. Okay. So we click emoji. Let's see picture. All right. We can just give me one of these. Cool. All right. And what we want to do here is we want to then use the, we use replicate in order to, uh, we use replicate for this end and for, I created a video on how to do this. I'll include a link on the show notes, um, on how to uh, build a flux, flux AI and I'll go into this in detail. So to, uh, to save on time, to save on time, I'm going to kind of go through this really quickly. Okay. So we need to add a, 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 the bearers key, put a paste here. And again, I'm going to block this out as well, because this is, this is unique to me. Um, and the results are going to be the results from the last prompt. Okay. Awesome. All right. So that's there. 
the next thing we need to do is we need to create a map. So I'm just going to copy this here. All right, cool. All right. And the next thing we need to do is we need to, let's just clone this again. Actually, let's just do it. Right. So the URL that we need to pull is going to be from the URL that we need to pull is going to be from from here. That produces the results from here. Okay. Um, so what we need to do is we need to get the URL. So instead of running this entire module, okay, instead of running this entire module and um pulling that information, actually we, we, can, we can actually do it here. Let's just run this module only, see if it runs and use the results. So no, we, we need to run the whole thing. So I'm just trying to save one time. So what I'm gonna do is I'm going to copy the URL here and I'll explain everything after we run it. All right, let's see a little bit here. All right. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. All right, I'm going to use this tool to copy here. All right, so, all right, so this is a little cheap. All right, so whenever you um, pull things from different modules, right, it has the fr first, it has a number and it has the fields that it needs. So the number is 11 that we need. We need to pull this data from module number 11. So all we need to do is really, instead of running the entire module again, entire automation again, we just change this to number 11 and we'll get the field, we'll copy this. And then what we could do is we could just paste it here. Okay. Awesome. So what it's going to do is going to pull this field from module 11. Okay. Which is good. What we need to do is we need to get, because um, an authorization again is going to be bearers. And again, I'm going to block this out as well. And um, pull that here as well. Cool. So I'm going to explain it right now. So what we are doing is we created an image prompt. Then we're going to put, the, we're going to take that image prompt and we're going to put it into replicate and to create like a four by five image. It takes about three minutes for that image to be produced. Uh, not three minutes. It takes about a minute, a minute and a half. So it varies. So I'm giving, um, I'm giving replicate enough time to create that image. Okay. So replicate creates the, creates the image. And then once it creates the image, I want to pull, I want to pull that image into the automation. Okay. So let's rename this. We are going to rename this to replicate image URLs. Replicate image URLs. Hmm. Let's put an emoji. All right. Let's put a picture again. Fine. Hit OK. And that is what we need. OK. Cool. The next step will be to download that image. OK. So what we can do is we could just select um, HTTP, get a file. OK. And the URL that we need is going to be, let's just cheat again. And then I'm going to, after we finish, I'm going to run it and I'm going to show you exactly how to build, how, how everything was built. These four uh, modules is what you use to, again, create the image get the image URL and then we got to download the image into our make module. So after we do that, we need to then post the image. We need to then upload the image to um, Blue Sky. Okay. So let's do that next. So the next piece is with Blue Sky, we could just actually, let's, uh, let's clone this. We'll put it here and let's rename it to, um, let's rename this to post image. Let's say post four by five image. To blue, to blue sky. All right, so let's open this up. And first, what we need is we need to change the URL. We're posting. We have authentication. Is the bearers uh, the query type, or what we need to do in the other header is we need to add um, the content type. The content type is going to be an image. JPEG. Or JPEG. All right, and it's going to be raw. It's going to be JSON. And the requested result is going to be, and from um, the download image. Apologies, going to, my brain is swinging. <laughs> so it'll be right here, so 14. All right, we didn't rename it, so that's why I got a little confused. We need it from here. We need the data. It needs the raw data. All right, so let's explain this. So what we're doing right now is we are going to post the image, right? The, the content type is image, and we need to um, post this actual data file, okay? So the way it works is um, they use what's called a data. Blue Sky uses what's called Blob, B-L-O-B. -B. Um, that's like their data source where they store information when they store files. So what we're essentially doing is we are uploading the actual the actual file that we downloaded from Replicate. Replicate uses the Flux AI. So, and there's a lot of um, language here that I'm using. But um, we essentially downloaded the file and we're, going, we're uploading it to um, to Blue Sky. Okay. And Blue Sky wants, wants the raw data. All right. So that's what we, do, what we did here. So let's hit OK. And let's just rename this to download video so that we know. Okay. Okay. Awesome. Uh, let's say a little download. That one's cool. Hit okay. And we post the image. Okay. 
cool. Actually, let's not pull this. Actually, upload the image. Sorry. We'll upload an image here. Upload an image. All right. Next piece, what we need to do is let's just hit save. And the next piece, what we need to do is we need to, we need to post. Okay. So let's create, uh, let's actually, let's clone this and we need to post. Okay. All right. Everything is going to be pretty much the same except for here. So let's just copy this. Let's put it here and I'll explain everything to you. All right, cool. So again, you're an expert post writer, social media platform, this guy, um, focusing on, um, other industry would we'll say mortgage industry or industry and period. Okay. Okay. So the research, um, this collapse all again is going to be what we got from perplexity AI. So it's going to be choice. Oops. Nope. Sorry. Let's delete that. It's going to be choice and it's going to be messages and it's going to be content. Okay. Here is the actual, um, code that we need. So similar to what we did before, this code is a little different. So let's get again, it's NWB, uh, B sky, um, free post, but we are going to embed images here. So again, the repo is going to be, um, let's collapse everything again. The repo, oops, the repo is going to be the DID. So this is what we got it here. Oops. Cool. Um, we got into the post that we, that open AI creates times now, um, the link, the link to this. Okay. So this is the link to the, um, uh, thing, you know, we may need to, we may, we may need to run it, but let me see if I can get away with not doing that. So let me, I'm trying to save us a little time by not having to run this every time we add a new module. So let's see here, let's copy this and let's go to here again. So this instead of 54. It's going to be the four by five image, which is, oh, let's just hit okay. The four by five image, which is 15. Okay, so let's see. Right, let's copy this and come on. Okay, let's do this. All right, and the same thing here. 54, it's gonna be 15. So all these gonna be 15. So um, I, I could have sped through um, some of the the edits that I've done, um, I'm going to put you all typing. So, so this is the, the, the JSON that's going to use that the API is going to use in order to post the image. Okay. And then we're going to then transfer this over to, um, the, um, the HTTP um, request that we're going to make next. Okay. So the repo is the ID as the, um, the centralized ID that we need. Um, we're going to insert a post that's created by this, um, open AI module. Okay. In relate in relation to the, the image. Okay. And then, um, we are going to get the links. This is the URL for the actual. This is the URL for the actual um, image. Okay, that was uploaded. Then we need the meme type. So the meme type again. We, we specified it earlier, but we gonna pull that information from. We're gonna pull that information from the actual image. So it's gonna specify that it's an image, and it's gonna specify the size. One thing that we I also did add here is the image URL. So this. So OpenAI is gonna actually look at the image, and it's gonna it's gonna use that information that it gathers to um, draft and produce an output for us. Okay, so we added the image URL. It uses the the, the vision um, technology within OpenAI. Okay. All right, so the next piece that we need to do is we need to um, add another HTTP uh, make, uh, request here. All right, and um, this time the the URL we're gonna use here is here and we're gonna uh, post it. And the, the header again is going to be optimization and it's gonna be bearer. And if we go back, it's going to be this API token. It's going to die right there. Uh, the body type is going to be raw and we go to use JSON and we go to pull the request from the last module, which is going to be the results from here and, and select. Okay. Um, and this, this rename this, we're going to name this the post, um, message and image. Okay. All right. We made it through. All right. So let's hit save and we are going to run this. So to what I'm going to do is we could, you could set different priorities. Um, for different routes, what I'm going to do, I'm going to disable this route. So that way it doesn't try to produce another, um, message or another, uh, a text. Yeah. Let's actually to, let's just, uh, name this to, um, text. And we are going to name this to image, All right? So that we can differentiate which what's what. All right, let's hit save and let's choose a different topic this time. So let's again, right click here and choose where to start and let's um, select which one we want. And this time, instead of that, uh, this is the first mortgage, but well, this is something a little bit different. Let's see. Second mortgage question. 
uh, whether the first payment due, physical loan, bank recommendation, underwriting question, conditional approval, loan estimate, final closing statement, disclosure, uh, mortgage property tax question. Um, who should I look to refinancing for 10 years? Da -da -da -da. Let's just choose uh, left over seller credits. Let's just choose that one. Sorry, make a decision. I just run it once. And hopefully, fingers crossed, you don't have any errors because usually, typically, what I recommend is that you run every after you create a module, you run it and then you just keep running it each time. But we'll be here for two hours if I, if I did that. So I'm just trying to, um, save you some time and save us some time so that way i just kind of um kind of ran through it a little bit and if you have any questions about anything that i've done be sure to leave a, a comment in 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 please be sure to leave a comment below and I'll, I'll be sure to answer those questions okay and of course if you're part of the community you have open access to me so i'll be able to answer any questions as well all right all right so all right so reddit pulled information um perplexing ai did some research we got we got the id we got our access token now we created an image prompt next we created the actual image on um uh, the flux a we created the image on um on replicate using Flux AI technology. So that image is probably done by now, but we have a three minute um, timer that's going to just give it enough time. So that way, if the image took a little longer than, than one to two minutes, then we'll, we'll have a little cushion there. So after this is completed, it'll continue. The animation will continue to um, pull, the, pull the metadata from the image. It'll pull, it'll pull the all the URLs that's needed. So that way we can um, actually look at the image and, and download the image, which will be the next step. We will download, we'll download the image. Once we download the image and have that data within make, we'll then that information and upload it to um the blob in in um blue sky once that's done we will uh then create our um blue sky post the message post that we're gonna put in and we can analyze the image that um, we made the AI image that we made and then we are going to create that prompt and then we're gonna throw it into uh again to the api for for blue sky so that we can post the image to blue sky okay the good news is once you create this once you don't have to create it again all right so um, i know there's a lot of steps and again being that we don't have an actual native a module within within make for for blue sky we have to kind of do this step by step by step so a lot of what you're seeing right now is happens behind the scene on, on different applications but we just see like a nice pretty app but behind the scenes there's a lot of mechanics that are that, that's running so it's good to see this um in real time all right so we'll give this a few minutes to run and then we'll, we'll jump back in so the automation is complete all of, everything ran successfully so fingers my fingers were crossed and we made it out great okay so let's go ahead to, to, to blue sky and let's check out let's check out the post okay let's uh, refresh here all right so this is the image that i created okay it says um unlock financial freedom with leftover seller credits so use them wisely to buy down your mortgage rates and save um big long term are you leveraging all available credits for your home purchase and it's the mortgage tips here so cool so i created this image and it created um a gentleman looking at a digital look like a digital piece of paper in a suit with some lightning and clouds in the background so it's very dramatic cool all right so let's go back in so the next piece what we need to do is we need to create a video okay all right so let's create another branch let's actually what we can do is we can actually save a lot of time because we did a lot of the legwork here so let's see one, two, three four five six let's see one two three four five all right so we could copy actually let's do this let's copy these four and let's copy let's paste and let's go here let's clean up a little bit boom and we'll just rename this one to video all right all right so um, the image prompt, let's see, it may change a little bit. Actually, no, it's gonna be the same. It's gonna be exactly the same, right? Yep, yep, yep. It's gonna be exactly the same. Um, so after, so again, what we did is we created an image prompt. We got to create the image on, we got to create the image on replicate using the Flux AI, Flux AI technology, take a quick nap, and then we'll create the URLs, okay? So after we do that, the next piece, what we need to do is we need to a video prompt, okay? Ooh, all right, so let's go ahead and let's go to, uh, let's go here, let's go to message and assistant. And actually, what I've done is I've created another system similar to similar similar to what we did for um for Blue Sky. I have a runway, I have a runway um, assistant. And again, it goes into all of the the things here. Let's actually take a quick look at it if you want to take a quick peek. I have a runway one. So this one, it goes over the the camera movements and all the different things like that. So what I what I what I did is I have a I'll put a link in the show notes for this as well. Is I went on to runway and they have like a um Oh, a, a, a one pager, not a one pager, but it's like a pager rather of all the instructions and all the different commands and all the different things that you can do when it comes to video. Like you can zoom in, zoom out, have different ca camera angles, um, different movements and things like that. So what I did is I, I just added, I just added that, that, that documentation here. So that way when the prompt is created, it'll know how to move the cameras, how to zoom in, how to zoom out and things like that. So, um, I turned it into a robot, but I basically copied instructions off of Runway's website. And, um, if you go to that video, I think I'll be have a link there. I'll, I'll, I'll put a link in the show notes in this one as well. All right. So let's jump back in. Excuse me. Okay, let's go here. We're gonna choose the runway. We're gonna choose the runway assistant. I'm gonna be user, and let's just copy this message. We go here, and let's just verify our instructions here. Uh, using the attached image, um, generate a prompt. 
prompt description um, and generate a prompt text description. The prompt should be in line with the attached image ideas to produce a video. Don't include anything other than a text, yada, yada, yada. And I say enter this prompt, okay? On the bottom, the image idea is going to be um, the results here. So let me just pull that information real quickly. All right, the image idea is going to be here. It's going to be the image prompt, so let's pull it up here. Let's collapse all, and it's going to be the image prompt. Here is going to be our image idea. Cool. Uh, the image file, let me just um, and cheat here. It's going to be here. It's going to be the, the image file is going to be the, the URL that we pulled from this last module. So let me just copy this. And the module is going to be, sorry. Oops, module is 21. 21, 21, 21, 21. All right, let's go up here. And 21. Oops, not 221, 21. Aaron, copy this. And image files. It's going to be actually image, add image URL. This is going to be the URL here. So again, so the, this 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 um, open AI prompt um, a module rather is going to look at the URL, look at the picture, and then it's going to create the prompt based off the picture. Okay, cool. Okay, and we just want to rename this to video prompt. Let's rename this to video prompt. All right, let's emoji and let's go here. Cool. Hit okay. Let's make sure we hit save so we don't lose our work. And let's continue. Okay. So the next module we're going to bring in is the runway. Okay. So with the runway module, hmm. this is going to, this is where the magic happens. This is, it's going to take the image and it's going to make it, it's going to turn it, it's going to make it live. Okay. All right, cool. So actually, if we look at this, let's go back and look at it. I'm going to delete it. I'll show you real quick. So the, the name of the module on runway is called generates a video based on image, based on image and text prompts. Okay. Oh, so they updated it. Uh, this is live to me. I know that I, I saw, I did see an article about it about they was going to allow text prompts. So now what we can actually do is we can add the text directly here. So it'll create the text. Ta -ta -ta -ta. So I'll do that on another video. Okay. Well, you can actually do the text prompts. But before initially you had, you couldn't do any, they didn't allow text prompts. The text prompt was only allowed through the, the user interface, through the GUI, through the GUI interface. They only allowed the image. So this is great. This is great news. Okay, cool. All right. Awesome. So let's go here. Let's go here and let's add this. All right. So instead of 70, we are looking at um, 21, because we need the image URL, right? 21 is the image URL. 21.data is the image URL. And again, I'm doing this to save us time instead of having to run this each time. And the prompt text. All right, the prompt text is going to be here. So let's go here. <laughs> Okay, cool. Let's just open this back up again. Sorry. And the prompt text is going to be, instead of 73, it's going to be the prompt text right at 22. Cool. All right, that's the prompt text right here. Um, uh, my apologies. I was confusing. I was confusing. Full text, full text to image. So it's not, it's not, it's not that. So this is just the, the prompt text is just really what we're telling, what we, what we, the instructions that we gave it from the video prompt. Okay. I was confusing it with, um, instead of having to do an image URL, um, in the, in the GUI interface, you could just basically just add the text of what you, what you wanted. You could say like Mario brothers, you know, jumping and crushing mushrooms. You could just put that in there and then it'll create the image. It'll create the video from that text, but this one is not, it still uses the image. It still needs the exact image that you have and it'll just turn that image to life. So that's not done yet. So I got excited for no reason. Pop that about that. Okay, the image, the, the, what we're doing is we are doing four by four. Well, actually, no, we are not doing four by five. Let's look at here. So here we need to change this, uh, change the prompt actually. From four by five, we want to change, make the video. Instead of four by five, we need to change to 16 by 19. So that was actually a good catch. 16, 16 to 19. So I remember I did copy and paste that. So 16 by, 16 by nine, sorry. 16 by nine, we do, we're going to do a wide area, a wide, a wide video. And that's also the requirements for, um, Blue Sky. Blue Sky requires a wide, wide, um, a wide, Video, widescreen. All right, so we're actually doing um, 16 by nine image and we are going to create the video. Let's rename this to create video. And here we want to change this emoji. Okay, okay, let's go back in. And the duration is going to be 10 seconds and we want it to be 16 by nine. 10 seconds is the most that you can, that we can, that um, runway allows at, at this time. Um, Certain certain um, social media platforms require a minimum of fifteen second videos. Luckily, uh, runway not runway. Sorry, luckily Blue Sky doesn't require that. You can they require up to sixty second videos. So you can have a one second a one second video or up to a six second video. So I'm just gonna leave it at ten seconds for now anyway. I mean that the video doesn't have any sound or anything like that. You know, no, no one wants to watch a still video for for that long anyway. So ten seconds, so it's, it's perfect. 
All right, so we'll hit okay. And the next thing we need to do is we need to actually download the video. Okay, from our way. So let's do that, let's HTTP, let's get a file. And instead of this, let's copy this code here. And um, go to 44. So let's copy this again here. And it says 74, it's 1C4. Yep, copy this URL so we can download. Uh, download the video, let's rename this. Download video. And let's get an emoji again. Let's give it a down. Cool. Okay, make sure we save as you go. All right, so where are we? So we used, um, we created the image again using Flux AI. Then we are creating the video. We created a video prompt and a video using uh, for runway AI. Now we now we now we're prepping to to put that actual video onto um, Blue, uh, Blue Sky. Okay. So first thing we need to do we need to download the video because the video again needs the data. Next we need to upload. Um, we need to upload the. Uh, we need to upload the the, the video. So let's do this. Uh, let's let's clone this one. And let's rename this to upload 16, 16 by nine video. Awesome. All right. So let's copy this again. I think it's the same one, but let's just be safe. All right. We're posting. The authorization is the same. Content type this time. The content type changed. We're going to change it to video. And it's going PG4 is the content type. It's going to be raw. All right. And instead of um, 75, it's going to be this double video is 25. So let's actually get us copy. Yep, get us copy this. Come on, Aaron. Copy. Go here. And we got to change this to the last module, which is to download the video. We change it to 25. Cool. Copy this. Mm. All right. Okay. Awesome. Let's just clean up a little bit. Tidy up. Hit save. Cool. All right. So we downloaded the video. We uploaded it to Blue Sky. What do we, what do we, what do we need to do next? Come on, tell me what, what we got to do next. All right. So next thing we have to do is we have to we have to prepare to post this video. The first thing we need to do is we need to um, create the prompt. All right. So let's go here and let's create the prompt. Let's just create from scratch. So let's go open AI. What we're going to do in this case is you want to message an assistant again. And that assistant is going to be our Blue Sky assistant. Great. Um, Blue Sky. Um, and let's just copy this over here. You know, I'm a like to cheat when it comes to that. this. We got the Blue Sky. The message is going to be here. Um, all right. So let's do this. So again, you're an expert writer, social media, focusing on, we're not focusing on AI. We're focused on the mortgage industry, right? Mortgage industry. We'll delete that. And the, the research is going to be what we did initially. So the research is going to be what we, what we received from perplexity. It's going to be, uh, sorry, break fart message content. Cool. All right. So the repo, let's, let's copy this and let's go back to which one is the repo? The repo, the repo is the DID and the DID is number numero five. So let's go back here and that's the DID number five. And let's go back here. It's important when you, whenever you change these fields, you have to make sure that it's still quoted and make sure that you don't mess up the thing. Because JSON, the JSON format is very delicate. Like if you have like a, if you have a, you know, like spaces or missing something, it, it, it causes errors. So you want to make sure that you're good with that. It's tools online that allows you to that they have like JSON viewers. There's a lot of free ones out there. You can just Google it and you can just throw your JSON in there and it will kind of like fix things for you. And that's what I, that's what I use initially to get all of the spacing and everything correct. Correct. And then let's copy it and put it and paste it in here. Okay. So this time I'm using the B Sky Embed video, and the links is going to be links from here. Actually, let's just move this over. Let's actually hit save first. But let's move this over, and the links we're going to need is going to be from this replicate URL, right? So it's going to be from let's say 21, 21, 21, 21. Actually, mm, I, I take that back. Sorry, let's, let's see the image. We need the links from here, from what we uploaded. So it's going to be from. So it's going to be from um, 26. So we don't need the image, the URLs from the image. We need the URLs and from what we uploaded. Okay, so that's going to be. 26, right? So that's gonna be 26. So let's go back here. Copy this here. Let's make sure I'm doing it correctly. That's all. Okay, go here. And let's place this here. Again, I'm gonna I'm gonna speed through this. So this bear with me. Here is we need to add the image URL. So which one is the image again? The image was 21. 21, 21. <laughs> I keep saying that. 21 savage, right? So we did add 21. Because again, the prompt that it produces is going to be it's going to look at the image just to just to give it some context. And when I say I mean the AI, give the AI some context in order to um, produce the prompt. Okay. So all right. So I know I want to do it pretty fast. So let's just explain it again. So we are creating um 
we created the um the prompt or the the text that we are going to put in the post okay and but, the, but the, we, we are also going to output what we need in order to produce in order to um upload our image okay as well in the same we killed two birds with one stone here instead of creating two modules all right so again it uses the b sky um feed to the post it gets out the id it gets the post that we just that we will be producing using this open AI module the create time is a required field again it's going to embed it as a video and it gets the link so this is the link to the video this is the link um it also says uh, what type of it what type of video it is and the video type is going to be um the video type is going to be um the, the mean type and then the, and then the size uh the image url is going to be taken from again the, the 21 and then you know uh, download the image one thing that i just remember that we need to do is on here i have the image type to be at least a change okay so the image type for here is webp oh that's perfect that's what we need it needs to be webp because um what i was what um the issue the issue that i, I ran into is that the image if the image is not like a webp format that it, it it was given errors when it came to uploading uploading the image because of the size so when i had it as a png it was given errors with the size but i have it as a webp and i think we should be good to go to be safe i'm gonna for the video portion i'm going to change it to p the p uh, the png image so that it makes it a little bit easier to download um but when we post in the image itself it's best to use um, the webp format because that's like a compressed format but just to keep it easier for uh, runway to download the image i just made it um for the video portion i I made it a PNG okay, because we're not going to ultimately post that image to Blue Sky. We are posting the video, so hopefully that made sense. So again, just just the video, the, the image format that I'm choosing to output for images is going to be WebP because that's a compressed format. The the format that I'm using, the image format that I'm using for the video is going to be PNG because that makes it easier for Runway to download that image, okay, rather than doing like a WebP format. You can use both, but uh, the quality is a little bit better when you do. Um, from my from my experience when you use the, the png all right so we'll keep it that way for now okay now while we're here what we want to do is we're disable this route because soon we are going to run this okay all right awesome so um let's just rename this to let's rename this to blue sky let's rename this to blue sky um post that and we are going to do this here okay all right, and then what we're gonna do next is we wanna actually post the image, okay? So let's hit this. All right, HTTP, we are going to make a request. And we are going to post, okay? And the authorization, again, is going to be, and yeah, it's gonna be bearer. And let's just close this. We need our DID, which is gonna be all the way back here. It's DID, okay? Oops, actually. No, it's not the DID, sorry. It's, um, it's actually going to be the API token. Apologies, it's gonna be here, access chat. Yes, okay. And it's gonna be raw, and it's going to be JSON, and we already need to get our result from our last one here. Cool. And we do need to parse it. Hit okay, and that should be good. All right, so let's rename this to, rename this to, Um, let's say post plus video. Okay, it's save. And this is before we run this, I'm just gonna make sure we get everything good. Let's go to bearer. Cool, cool, cool. All right, awesome. All right, so I think we're able to run this puppy. So let's go ahead and run this. And again, we're gonna choose something different. Let's make sure I hit save. And this time it's gonna post a video, which is pretty cool. So let's go choose where to start and let's select something different. Let's go to uh okay hypothetical question about selling one house okay i can't read the entire post but let's just let's just go for it let's hit run once cool all right so let's see what it pulled let's see it hypothetical question about selling one house and buying another and buying another essentially free all right so let's see what let's see what it comes over here cool so this time it propacity ai did its research and we got the id we got our access token we do the image prompt Next, all we're going to do is we're creating the image with um, using um, Replicate and we're using the Flux AI technology. Again, in three minutes, we'll come back and we'll continue with this um, explanation. So Replicate the pulled the IDs, the, sorry, the URLs. And now what we're doing next is creating the open AI is creating the video prompt. So now we are going to now um, Runway is creating the image using the video prompt. Okay, then we downloaded the video. Now we're uploading the video to Blue Sky. Next, we are going to 
um, create a prompt in blue in we are going to create a prompt using OpenAI for for blue sky so that way we can upload that video okay so now we are uploading the video to blue sky and the video is complete and everything is posted to blue sky okay so let's just look at it before we look at the video let's look at, look at everything that we did okay let's run over this entire scenario and then we can look at the video all right so we used reddit we pulled we pulled um feeds and threads from reddit and then we go to use that information to do some research using perplexity ai and then we got some critical information that we need in order to post to our account and to authenticate our account in blue sky okay we use these two modules here then we created three different options one is to create a text um a text post next to image post and the last is going to be a video post okay so going over our last scenario we created the image prompt then we created the image using uh, runways of, of flex ai technology do a little nap then we, we pull that information that urls of that specific image so that way we can use those images to create our video prompt okay so then we have the video prompt and we create use the video prompt to create, actually create a video we downloaded the video we downloaded the video to make then we uploaded the video to um to blue sky after we did that then we use that video to create the um the prompt we use the we actually use the image and we use the video in order to create the prompt using open ai and then we uploaded it to um to blue sky all right so this automations we are creating creating um prompts we created the images images and videos on different platforms we downloaded it into make and then we uploading it into different platforms so it's a lot of moving pieces but at, at the end of the result let's see what we came up with okay let's uh refresh our page here all right and this is it right here so this is the image that i came up with cool so unlock the secret to sell the selling high in 2024 with mortgage rates down on demand with mortgage with mortgage rates down and demand up you can leverage this market to snag top dollar for your home how will you prepare for your next move real estate tips hashtag home selling all right so we created this image i mean image is a little on the dark side but i mean you can change the prompt so that way it could be a little bit more so as you can see i've kind of been playing with the different prompts like this this one that i posted before is a little bit more playful and uh, this is the direction i'm kind of going in um but you are now able to create videos prompts images all automated um using make and all the technologies i discussed in this video so if you like this video be sure to hit the like button below subscribe to this channel also share this as well um i, I mentioned earlier in this video that i do have a community um so the community uh, I, I put all of these automations in the community so you'll have access to this entire uh, module but all you have to do is click the more button click on import blueprint and this entire blueprint will be uploaded into your make account okay so you don't have to go through this step by step but of course if you follow this video with me if you follow step by step you'll be able to replicate this on your own um again all of the the bots i use all the prompts everything's going to be uploaded and everything is um uploaded to the community so that way you'll have access to it as well okay hope you found value in this long video until next time okay peace enjoy